Okay, today we're going to make a couple of pivot tables. I've opened up a file called Stats 101, which shows characteristics of a bunch of students in three sections of a fictitious stats class. The first thing that I do is I select any cell in the data table. Next, I go to the Insert Ribbon, Pivot Table, and what I should see is a shimmering line around my whole data. If that doesn't appear, I can manually select the data by clicking in the top left, my case, A1, and dragging across to K and down to 101. So I selected all of my columns and all of my rows. Press OK, and that opens up a new sheet here. On the right-hand side, I see a listing here of all of the different fields or columns that were on that table. The left-hand side, I've got a blank template for the pivot table. I'm only going to be working on the right-hand side. I'm going to make a small pivot table that will classify students according to gender and eye color. So the end table will show us that we have, say, 13 blue-eyed females. Let's select the gender field on the right-hand side, click and drag it down, and release it in the area called Row Labels. Notice what happens on the left. The next thing that I do is I move up and grab Eye Color, and I'm going to pull that down and drop it where it says column labels. Finally, it's important to put something in the middle where it says drop data items, or on the lower right hand side, sum of values. In other words, we have to actually count something. I find that counting one of the original variables works well. Let's grab gender pull it down to where it says sum of values and release. We've completed the pivot table now. This tells us that we have 13 blue-eyed females, 36 brown-eyed females, and so on. We have 60 females in total, and we have 25 blue-eyed people. I'm going to make a second pivot table now. I'm going to go back to the stats 101 and select any cell in the table, insert pivot table, and again make sure that all of my data is selected and press OK. For this pivot, pivot, pivot table I'm going to count just one variable, age, and what I'm going to do is actually put the students in various age classes here and find out how many students fall in each class. Click on age and pull it down and let it go under row labels. I'm not going to put anything in the column label area, but I'm going to grab age again and put it in the sum of values. Notice what happens to the left hand side here. This tells me that the sum of the ages of all the 18-year-olds is 72. In other words, I have four students that are 18, so 4 times 18 is 72. That's not a very useful statistic. So let's change the sum of age to the count of age. If I move down to the lower right, where it says the sum of values, I'm going to click on the little drop-down box that says sum of age, and select value field settings. I can choose count and OK it and that gives us a more useful measure here. That tells us that we have four 18 year olds. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the students into classes. Let's put the 18 and 19 year olds together in a class of under 20. The way that I do that is I select the cell that says 18, drag it down to select 19, 
Move my cell pointer up to the top of the screen where it says Pivot Table Tools. Make sure that that is clicked or selected, that the Options ribbon is clicked or selected, and that should show us something called Group. I'm going to select Group Selection. And what that does is it now puts the 18 and 19 year olds together in a single group. Click on the word group one and change the title to something more appropriate. Press enter. The last thing that we do is I push the little collapse button which is on the left hand side of the label. That now tells us that we have 22 students who are less than 20. Okay, let's make a new class, and these will be students which are 20 to 29. Click on 20, drag down to 29, and again, move up to the group button on the ribbon, group selection, and change the title to something more appropriate. Then I can collapse that, those values, into one class. So that tells me that I have 56 values, or students, that are in their 20s. Let's make one more class, and that will be 30 plus. Select the, the rows, and instead of going up to the top here and choosing group, I want to show you a, another way, and that is just point anywhere into the selected rows, Right click and a drop up, a drop, a pop up menu appears. Select group. And now I can change that label to 30 plus. Enter and collapse. There, we've done the, the pivot table now. That tells us that we have 22 students who are under 20, 56 in their 20s. 22 who are 30 or more. And this ends the demonstration.